Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking TVs today and in the event that yours is not turning on, it may be a faulty power button. We're going to show you how to replace that power button. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, in front of us is a 55-inch Samsung Curve TV and in the event that your TV is not turning on from using your remote and you've done several things to get it to turn on and unfortunately you're not having any luck. Number one, replace your batteries in your remote. We've all done that and chances are you've already replaced them. Number two, purchase a brand new remote and you can get that online for a very friendly price. Next thing I want to show you is this little light right here and in most cases it will be red and that is when it's off and that is what's called your IR sensor and that is what your remote communicates with signal wise to turn your TV on and off. So in the event that you push the power button as shown here that red light will turn off and the TV will turn on and it will stay off the entire time your TV is on. Once it comes time to turn the TV off that light, as you can see, blinked once it caught signal from the remote and the TV turned off and now the red light is back illuminated. And I share this part because sometimes your power button will be connected to or in close proximity of your IR sensor. And if it is not, what you'll have to do is get to the back side of your TV and find that power button. Let's go show you a different TV. Make sure your actual power cord is firmly secured into the power inlet or connection point on the back side of the TV and the TV is plugged into a reliable and working outlet. Here we are at the workstation and a second TV in front of us and on the backhand side is your power button right there. And it's not plugged in so it's not going to turn on but I do want to show you what that looks like. Again if you're not having any luck turning on your TV locate your power button and as I just mentioned it might be connected to your lower IR sensor or close proximity to it. In this case with this TV it's further up from the sensor and you may need to push and hold for about two seconds to turn it on. However, if that does not work, you'll never believe this, those do fail over time. And in this video, we're gonna open up this back panel and show you how easy and friendly it is to replace that power button. At this point, DIYers, I've got the TV resting panel or screen side down on a soft surface. We need to remove this back panel. It's held on by a bunch of Phillips screws and they're everywhere and some are hiding. It's important to know once you remove all those screws, this panel should come off extremely easily. If it does not, you're missing a screw. Try to find it. We've got the space here and we've got a few Phillips screws. We actually need to remove this also because there are additional Phillips screws underneath here that we have to remove. At this point, I've got all Phillips screws removed, including the base and underneath the base were those three additional Phillips screws. I've got these screws organized and placed in a manner where I will know exactly what screw goes in the exact same holes it came out of from here. Again, it should be extremely easy to pull up. And again, if it's not pulling up extremely easily, you're missing a screw. We'll go ahead and pull this off with both hands. At this point, DIYers, with the panel removed, you've got much better access to all your internal parts of your TV. Check that out. A lot going on here. And right here is that power button. And it basically just rests in a little slot there. You just shift it out and you've got a connection point here. Very important, do not tug at the connection point while holding the wires. You do not want these wires separating from the connection point. What you'll do is push on the back side. You see that front portion raise? That will raise out of the locking slot. And as you push and hold that downward pressure, you will simultaneously pull that white connection tab off of your power button. And again, you do not want to separate the wiring from the white connection point. It should come off fairly easily. And you should have your part number on the back side. Here is a better view of it. And again, the part number should be on the back side as shown here. Go grab your replacement part, re-secure the connection point, and slide it into place. Realign your connection point and push in until it clicks, as shown here. And verify that the upper plastic tab is flush. I changed camera angles, and that is what it is supposed to look like. From here, you've got this little slot right here, and it is going to slide right in to that aluminum tab there. And then you've got a hole here that is going to shift over that little tab right there. Make sure your electrical wiring on the opposite end that feeds into your main board is secured. 
and that's done. It's a good time to inspect all other parts inside your TV. And after that, go grab your cover panel, realign it properly. And as you do that, just be careful. You do not want to harm any parts of your TV as you lay that panel in place and re-secure all the screws. I have gently realigned and rested the back panel in place. And before you start inserting screws, make sure all the screw holes are visible the entire way around the TV. At this point, I've got all the screws inserted and secured. Do your best not to over tighten them. That would not be good. You'll run into cracking plastic. We also inserted and secured the base. All right, DIYers, everything's back together. And we folded up our blanket, got our countertop back, and we are not going to use the remote. Come to the back side. And that little power button, push, and the TV should turn on. And it did, very cool. Hey, do us a favor, blow the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell, that would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And real quick, one more thing about this power button, check that out, you got a plus, a negative, and an up and down arrow. And come back to the screen, you can hear me move this button in the back and I can select all of these sources just by that power button in the back. So it serves a multi-purpose. Pretty cool.